It was a beautiful day on the island of Sodor, and Duck was waiting at the station with his coaches. At last, Boko arrived. Hello, Boko. I see that I'm pulling a passenger train. You look really smart. Yes, indeed, Duck. I love to pull passenger trains. Even when the local is due, I can always do whatever I want. Oh, yes, I see. Well, anyway, I've got to go, or the fat controller will tell me off and shut me in the shed. No, 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 Duck, he'll never do that. By the way, I've got to keep going. I have to make my way to Wellsworth Station. Better keep going. So long. And Boko purred away. Duck was delighted. And then he puffed off to Nepid Station. Soon he was running smoothly down the tracks. He saw that the other engines were still very busy. But, at least, he didn't mind. At last, he arrived at the big station, but Gordon was there, ready to go with the express. Sorry, I have been late. Huh, this won't do, Duck. One of these days, I'm gonna make up for lost time and leave your passengers behind. That would be easier if you know what I mean. Well, I have to be quick, otherwise the fat controller will tell me off for rushing. That's what it means. Well, if it happens to you, I will start thinking about it. And what will the fat controller say? I don't know. Duck was feeling very pleased, but he didn't know that Gordon had secretly told him the truth as he passed away. The guard's whistle blew, and then Duck was on his way. He was puffing faster and faster. The coaches clickety-clacked down the line. He was very pleased with all his efforts. Just then, Duck was a bit concerned. Just ahead, he didn't see that the gates were closed and the cars were about to drive off. Just all of them. All of a sudden, one car moved, but it stopped. Just then, it heard a whistle. Beep, beep. Just ahead, Duck could see the car stuck on the road. Get out of the way! He slammed on his brakes, but it was too late. Luckily, no one was hurt but Doc lay dazed and surprised off the rails. And his coaches were severely fine, but Duck was most depressed. Please, somebody get me back on the rails. And in no time at all, the workmen lifted Duck back on the rails. They already brought the breakdown train to help, and soon enough, they were on their way again. Doc was worried that he would be later than ever, but he was wrong. At last, he got to the big station on time. Hooray! I've done it! And there was James, waiting to go. Duck, how long did it take for you to get there? I'm sorry, I had crashed into the car, and luckily, the breakdown train got me back on the rails. That was tough time, wasn't it? James agreed. Yes, it was. So, as for you, Duck, I shall make my way to the Wellsworth station on time. So, if you'll excuse me, I have to be off. And so, James puffed quickly away as he could. 
duck could hardly manage. He would never go off the tracks.